Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome back. If you're not, my name is Emily, and I totally have pancake batter on my shirt. It is fun. Today, I will be showing you how to meal prep uh, mini like pancake muffins. They are so cute. So yeah, um, I have a family of five, two adults, four kids. So meal prepping comes in handy for me um, so much, and it honestly just saves me a whole bunch of headache when it comes meal time. But yeah, um, I will be showing you how to meal prep mini pancake bites using pancake mix and a um, mini muffin tin. And I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you think of it. Comment, like, subscribe, do all that awesome stuff. And I will talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I will uh, be meal prepping um, these little pancake bites that you can bake because frankly I suck at baking uh, pancakes. Like not bacon, but um, like making them regularly on myself. I can just never get them right. So I find baking them like these to be so much easier. And I just store them in these little um, boxes with lids that you can get from Walmart. So these are the berry tastic uh, pancakes, which taste like the berry cereal. Hold on, I'll get it. It's this one. And then for this batch, I will be doing the Lucky Charms. So I think that's gonna be good. So you know how I probably make pancakes, right? Like a little bit of mix, a little bit of water until you have a semi right consistency if you don't measure like I do. Oops, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> and then the muffin tin, this is a mini um, muffin tin that I got from Walmart as well. Can y'all hear my son up there? He's just screaming. I don't know why. Uh, screaming as in, uh, yeah, not like screaming as in angry or anything. I gotta start holding this over the boat. If you want to make this a little bit easier on yourself, just um, follow and measure the directions on the back of the box. I'm just a little chaotic, so. I only like to meal prep when I have time. Um, but getting breakfast for four children that actually eat like human food, or like real food, is a little bit difficult sometimes, so I like to meal prep when I when I can to save myself a little bit of headache later on. So I'm gonna add a little, a little bit more mix. Okay, now you wanna take the mix and pour it into the cookie tin. I will have to do this off camera just because um, it's a mess, frankly. So yeah, be back. I said I was gonna do this off camera, but I kinda changed my mind because I'm using the cookie too. It's making it a lot easier. Still messy though, as you can see. But it's fine. Oh, oh, my son, he's silly. Probably shouldn't use on these to start with, but it is what it is. Okay, let's add a little bit more. Okay, now I got another 
have a little batch made. I am going to um, put these into the muffin pan. There I said it. Muffin pan, whatever. So while I'm doing this, the oven uh, is preheating on 300 or like 325. No! Oh! I'm not really only gonna have to like one thing up. Okay, so. There we go. And if you want, you can like clean it up a little bit. Um, but honestly, since this is a non-stick pan, anything that uh, bakes around it is really easy to come off, like touch it and it comes off. So yeah, I am going to pop this into the oven uh, for maybe 10 minutes or so, and I'll be back. So it's been about 15 minutes, and I flipped some of these just to make sure they're done. Um, they're a little bit like brown than these compared to these, but they still feel fine. And as you can see, like some burnt pieces here, just go off, like boom, boom. So I love this pan, truthfully. So yeah, now all we do is take them out and put them in um, whatever you plan on freezing them in. I suggest like an airtight uh, container of some sort for best results. These will stay good in the uh, freezer for a good three months, maybe more, depending. If you decide to do these as soon as, um, well, decide to do this as soon as it comes out of the oven, they are really hot, so uh, just be careful, obviously. So yeah, I can fit about two batches. I may be able to stuff in a few more. So I can fit about two batches of these little mini muffins um, in one of these containers, which they're pretty deep, so. So yeah, I can probably fit maybe, I don't know, four or five more or so. But yeah, that is it. And then I just take the lid, put it on the box. I'll take a piece of tape, label it, and yep, that is it. And put it in the freezer for up to three months. When I'm ready to eat them, I take them out, let them uh, unthaw overnight, and then reheat them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!